Hey everybody, welcome to Ready Set Drone. Today I have the Bugs 3, which I have already reviewed. Pretty awesome little brushless quad. I wanted to show you how I managed to put a gimbal on it and show you how you could do as well. So stay tuned and we'll talk about that. So the Bugs 3 is a little uh, brushless quad that is pretty high performance for a uh, quad this price, under $100. It has uh, a 2S battery. It comes with a holder for a GoPro or a GoPro knockoff um, right here, but it doesn't have a gimbal. Um, it is something that I thought would be interesting because it seems to have enough power to fly with a gimbal. In order to mount the gimbal to it, what we've done is we've pulled off the bottom uh, battery component, uh, battery box that used to be underneath here. Uh, there was a square container that held this uh, square battery in it. And what we've replaced it with is a carbon fiber uh, piece of metal, piece of, well, piece of carbon fiber with four little standoffs right here, these silver things. Now these standoffs go into the original screw, screw holes and they use just standard screws to hold this piece of carbon fiber down below. Now what this carbon fiber does is two things. Number one, it actually um, holds the battery. Uh, number two, it is a mount for the gimbal to go onto and uh, it's very lightweight and very strong. What's interesting about this is there were originally some little rubber standoffs that were used to help dampen vibrations. Uh, we've gotten rid of those rubber standoffs because uh, they made the thing a little bit too tall and made the camera drop down below the existing landing gear. This is the stock landing gear that comes with it. We don't have the prop guards on it, um, but it seems to work pretty well because you can actually set this thing on the ground uh, and it will, it is just enough clearance that if the camera's flat, it doesn't uh, put too much strain on the gimbal. This gimbal is a Walkera G2D brushless gimbal. It's about 70 bucks online. So the quad is about 90 bucks, 100 bucks. This is about 70, 75. So you're into it for about 175 with those two things. Um, and then the only other piece you would need is the, well, the two other pieces you would need would be the carbon fiber plate and then this little uh, cable, which basically takes the gimbal power supply and we chopped it and we used this, um, it's a male balance plug for a, for a 2S battery. And the reason we used this one was so that we could get power off of the balance plug from the 2S battery, which is right here, and it just happens to be hanging out the back. Uh, and provide power for the actual gimbal, and it works great. So again, the checklist of things you would need in order to make this happen is the Volcara G2D gimbal, the uh, balance plug connector, and you just basically solder it to the existing two cables that are on the gimbal, and the carbon fiber plate with the four standoffs. And so, GoPro. oh, and of course a GoPro or the GoPro knockoff, um, which I'd assume you'd already have if you wanted to mount a GoPro to this thing. So what I wanted to do real quick was go ahead and just um, weigh this thing um, with all of this on it and the battery on it. So let me put the battery into the slot, which fits very nicely. Now because the carbon fiber is not rubbery or anything, this is very slippery. So I'm actually using a, um, using a little Velcro strap to make sure the battery doesn't slide out. And the way I do that is I push this Velcro strap through the carbon fiber plate figure out which way it's going to go, which is like this. And then I put the battery in on top of it. And then I just strap it around the top. Pretty low tech, but it holds the battery. And again, it keeps the battery from sliding around. So now that I've got it in there, that battery is pretty, pretty secure. So now um, this, this uh, food scale I have, which belongs to my wife, is not actually big enough to hold this thing. So I'm going to have to kind of balance it. So the weight not, may not be completely accurate. But with all that, the battery, the Hero 4, which has a battery in it, um, the quad itself, and the gimbal, it is one pound and seven ounces. So I guess this would require uh, FAA registration because it's over that 0.55 pounds. So uh, I don't have a registration number on it, but I will put one on it now that I realize what its weight is. So keep that in mind if you live in the US and you wanna follow the FFA, FAA rules. Now we've got everything on there. We're going to go ahead and get the get this out of the way. And this is a freshly charged battery on the uh, on the quad. 
and just kind of try to see what our center of gravity is like. And it feels pretty decent, um, pretty close to the middle. We've got the battery shoved all the way as far forward as it'll go. The gimbal is sitting in a pretty good spot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, plug in the, the um, gimbal so we can get that powered up. So uh, what's cool about this is there is actually um, two, little, two little potentiometers here and one of them is your tilt. So you can see when I turn this thing, the camera tilts up and down. So you can set it to where you want it to be. I'm gonna tilt it down a bit to try to avoid getting the uh, feet in the shot. And then this other one is actually your, um, it's your uh, tilt this way. So you can see the camera was a little bit off whack, so I'm gonna turn it until, you can see if I turn it really far, it goes all the way over, all the way over. So I'm gonna turn it until it looks straight as I can get it. Okay, now that looks pretty good. Now as I said, I've got my camera tilted down pretty far because I wanna to try to avoid hitting the, um, uh, seeing the feet in the shot, so that's why I'm tilting it down. I think this camera is set to, um, set to medium field of view. Let me see. This GoPro. So it is set to 1080, 60 wide. So I'm going to actually switch it to medium field of view. All right, now looks like we are pretty good to go. All right, so now keep in mind this does not have um, FPV. Uh, you could probably run the GoPro app to do that. It also does not have um, uh, any way to remote start and stop the camera. Again, the GoPro app would do that, but if you're running a GoPro knockoff, you, you wouldn't be able to. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the uh, GoPro camera now in three, two, one, go. Now it's rolling, and now you can see I'm shaking the camera back and forth, and the camera is staying pretty steady um, with that gimbal. So now I'm going to take off from the table here. There's no GPS on this thing, so keep in mind that it's uh, it is a uh, just a free flyer. It's a little bit breezy today, but I'm curious to see what the footage looks like, and I'm also going to time it to see how much flight time we get. Uh, out of it with this one full battery using the gimbal and everything. So let me go to my uh, stopwatch. That's your prop stop and your prop start. This thing is a lot of fun to fly. It's really just a nice smooth flyer um, without the gimbal. I was able to get some pretty decent footage with it flying it without the gimbal before just because it was a non-windy day. Taking it up kind of high. Probably about 40 feet in the air now. Just kind of hovering with it. Kind of breezy today, so I don't want to take it too high in this neighborhood.
kind of a windy day. That's the bus. Oh, there's the battery. So, oh. Jake, can you switch it back over? Should I stop the time? Running? Yeah, should I stop okay. the time? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and land it. So. Stop, Jim. So, on a full battery with the gimbal, we got about 7 minutes, 25 seconds. So, that's pretty... It's pretty interesting. On the box, it says that it's flight time with no gimbal and no attachments is about 16 minutes. So it's actually pretty respectable. Seven minutes, 25 seconds is pretty respectable for um, all that extra added weight. So one other thing for consideration is that uh, currently I have the gimbal zip tied onto the, um, onto the carbon fiber plate right now. That could change. Um, we could try putting a piece of foam in there to to, loose, to uh, reduce the jello and vibration. Um, we could use the standoffs that come with the uh, that come with the gimbal. There are these little there are these little uh, rubber pieces that you see in the picture right here uh, that go in between the plates. That might, that would actually help a little bit. I don't know. I want to look at the footage and kind of see how it looks um, just zip tied directly to the carbon fiber plate. The reason I like that is because then you can just use the standard landing gear and it actually will sit on the ground without causing damage to the gimbal. So we're going to try a little experiment. We're going to put a link to buy this carbon fiber plate. Um, you will have to buy the um, gimbal yourself. I think just about any uh, aftermarket inexpensive gimbal is going to work. The reason that I recommend the G2D from Walkera is it's lightweight because it's made of plastic. It fits uh, GoPro, it also fits the um, different knockoffs, and it has the ability to do the um, settings on the back using the screwdriver. You can set the, the pitch and the roll of it, so you can make it level and get it at the angle you want it. Um, so we're gonna try selling a couple of these plates with the standoffs, and you will be responsible for the gimbal and also for uh, soldering the connection between the, uh, the gimbal power supply and a, um, a balance plug like this. I'm gonna see if I can find this little balance plug piece online so you can order it as well. I actually just cut it off of a little charger that I had and so I had it handy, but if, um, if not, you, could, you would be able to uh, just buy this piece by itself, that would be ideal. Or maybe you just buy a charger and cut it off like I did. Uh, it's actually um, pretty common and I'm sure it's pretty cheap if I can find it. Uh, you'll also need a strap to hold the battery in. We uh, would just like to do a little experiment, maybe make 10, 20 of these things and see how well they are replied to and how, how people like them, um, the plates, and then see if we can revise on that and make it even better in the future. Um, so look for the link and the description in the description to be able to buy the plate and also links to the uh, gimbal itself and if I can find it, the, uh, the balance plug uh, so you can fix that up. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun doing this little experiment to see if uh, the Bugs 3 could carry a gimbal. Obviously it can. This thing is still a ton of fun to fly. Even if you aren't gonna buy the gimbal for it, I still highly recommend it. It's just a blast. It's one of my little favorite quads from 2016-2017 uh, time period. So uh, definitely check it out. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you really like it, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching. Cool.